Good morning. As you all know that in class 7 science textbook, we are having a chapter of physical and chemical changes. So, we are having so many changes in our daily life and also in our surroundings. For example, curdling of milk, rotting of a food article, cooking of a food article, stretching of a rubber band and there could be so many other changes. So today we are going to learn about this chapter by performing certain activities and for this purpose we are having two students with us Vyompal and Avni. First of all we will learn about the chemical changes. Chemical changes are those changes in which one or more new substance is formed and these changes are generally irreversible in nature. For example, when we burn leaves, the leaves get converted into ash and this ash we cannot get back into leaves. So this is a irreversible process. For this activity we need magnesium ribbon, water, sandpaper, spatula, red and blue litmus paper, tong and test tubes. I have already cut a strip of magnesium ribbon. Now I will clean this magnesium ribbon strip with the help of a sandpaper. Now that we have cleaned this ribbon strip, now we need to burn a candle by using a matchstick. For this activity, we need to switch off all the lights so that the flame is clearly visible. We will hold this magnesium ribbon strip with the help of a tongue. Introduce this magnesium ribbon strip to the flame. Ma'am, we can see that white light is coming out. Yes, when a magnesium ribbon strip burns, it burns with a brilliant white light. Now we need to switch on all the lights and then we will mix this ash with water. Mix it with the help of a glass rod. Now Avni and Vyo, you have to pour this mixture into these two test tubes. Now what you have to do is, you have to test this solution with the blue and red litmus paper for its acidic and basic nature. Ma'am, the red litmus paper has turned blue. Yes, the red litmus paper has turned blue. Ma'am, the blue litmus paper remains blue. Yes, and the blue litmus paper remains the blue. That means the red litmus paper has turned blue and the blue litmus paper remains the same which indicates to us that the mixture of magnesium ash and water is a base. So from this activity we can conclude that 
on burning the magnesium ribbon we get the ash and this ash cannot be converted back into the magnesium ribbon so this indicate to us that it is a irreversible process while doing this activity we have to be very careful we don't have to look into the white brilliant light for a longer period of time as it can damage your eyes now we are going to do another activity of a chemical change in this activity we need lime water which is calcium hydroxide baking powder which is sodium hydrogen carbonate vinegar which is acetic acid spatula dropper test tube which is fitted with a u shaped delivery tube instead of this we can also use two separate test tubes and a delivery tube which is fitted with corks first of all we will add baking powder into this test tube with the help of a spatula avni can you open this bottle Now I will add lime water into this delivery tube with the help of a dropper. After adding the lime water, what we need to do is add acetic acid into the baking powder drop by drop and observe avni open this bottle ma'am i can see some bubbles coming out yes and these bubbles are of carbon dioxide gas let the carbon dioxide gas pass into the u tube to the lime water ma'am the lime water is turning milky yes lime water will start becoming milky keep on adding the acetic acid drop by drop and observe add more amount of acetic acid add more amount of acetic acid yes vyompal what can you observe ma'am the lime water has become milky yes on passing the carbon dioxide gas into the lime water it turns lime water milky and this lime water is chemically called calcium carbonate so in this reaction two new substances are formed avni can you tell me what are these two new substances carbon dioxide gas and calcium carbonate yes in this reaction two new products formed are carbon dioxide gas and calcium carbonate therefore it is a chemical change as you know that in a chemical change a new substance is always formed also it is a irreversible process now we are going to do another activity of a physical change that is crystallization when large crystals of pure substances are formed from their solutions that process is called crystallization the common salt which we use in our homes is an example of this process for this activity we need beaker dilute sulfuric acid water copper sulfate powder matchstick 
tripod stand, china dish, filter paper, dropper, glass rod, spatula, funnel, wire gauge and a burner. Here, first of all, we need to make a saturated solution of copper sulphate. But ma'am, what is a saturated solution? Saturated solution is the one in which a stage is reached when no more solute can be dissolved in a solvent at a particular temperature to make a solution. Ma'am, what is solute? A solute is a substance that is dissolved in a solvent to make a solution. First of all, add some water into this beaker. Now add copper sulphate powder into this water. Mix it completely in water with the help of a glass rod. Keep on mixing the copper sulphate powder until all the crystal of copper sulphate disappears. Now add some more amount of copper sulphate powder. Again mix it completely with water. Again add some more amount of copper sulphate powder and mix it completely with water. Now a stage has been come when no more copper sulphate can be dissolved in the solution. Ma'am, it means that saturated solution has been formed? Yes, at this point saturated solution has been formed. Now, we need to filter this saturated solution by using a funnel and a filter paper. Ma'am, why we need to filter this solution? We need to filter the solution because on filtering the solution, all the unwanted impurities are removed from it. First of all, you need to take a filter paper and form a cone out of it. Fold it into two equal halves like this. Fold it from the center. In this way, cone is made. I have already inserted this filter paper in the funnel. Now we will filter this solution in a china dish. Take a china dish. Place a funnel over it and add the saturated solution into the funnel. The solution will come out drop by drop. Keep on adding the solution slowly and slowly. Now we have filtered the saturated solution. After this, add a few drops of dilute sulfuric acid into the filtered solution. Now we need to boil this solution until the crystallization point is reached. But ma'am, what is crystallization point? Crystallization point is a point when the crystals of copper sulphate just begins to be formed. Now, first of all, light this burner by using a matchstick. Place a tripod stand over the flame. 
like this. Now place a wire gauge over it. Now place this china dish over the flame and let it boil until the crystallization point is reached. Now let the solution cool by keeping it as it is for few hours. Now the solution has been cooled and crystals are made. Avni, what can you observe? Ma'am, I can see some crystals. Yes, on cooling the crystals of copper sulphate are formed and this is a physical process because in this state is changing from liquid that is the saturated solution of copper sulphate to a solid that is the crystals of copper sulphate. You have to take certain precautions while doing this activity. First of all, always use dilute sulfuric acid and not the concentrated one. Secondly, be careful while handling the flame. Try to do this activity in front of a teacher or an adult.